Hello guys, welcome back to the S3D Hobby Shop. I'm S3D and today I want to take a look at the uh, Spider-Man Spider Armor Mark IV suit. So this is the Hot Toys Video Game Masterpiece VGMS. Uh, what number is this one? Is there a number? Uh, we have the SKU and the UPC, but which uh, this is the newest one, so VGMS number something. I don't know if they've actually put that on the packaging or the promotion of photos. Maybe not. But this is the latest one, so let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures. All right, okay, so this is what we get. Uh, obviously, the head is like a plastic piece where they paint it to match the outfit. The outfit is pleather. Um, something like this, it can be a hit or a miss, to be honest with you. Uh, sometimes uh, the plastic and the pleather don't quite match up, but so far from the promotional pictures, it looks good. But... Yeah, we'll just have to see. <laughs> Three sets of eyes. Uh, they, they're they like the Deadpool figure. I think they're magnetized, so you just take them up and pack, pop them back on. Come with this little spider's drone, which probably do nothing at all. Just look cool sitting there. Effect parts, spider webs. Uh, yeah, I think those things comes with like all the uh, recent Spider-Man releases. So, How many Spider-Man figures are they going to make? It's like Iron Man now. There's like 12... 15 different Spider-Man figures, <laughs> and I think they all use the same body, which is kind of lazy, but anyway. Uh, I do like this one for the stand, though. That stand looks really cool. Let's have the lighting effect. Yeah, why can't other uh, Hot Toy figure come with more of these LED light stands? And plus, it's 255 so that's a pretty damn good deal. Uh, getting like a figure with all these accessories and a stand that lights up. Yeah, it's not bad. The value is, I think it's okay. Uh, this outfit actually looks pretty okay. Um, we got the pattern underneath and then the color over it, so it's pretty cool. And apparently when you hit it with the LED light, you can see like the pattern. Uh, yeah, the pattern is even, you know, uh, you can even see the pattern on the head scope, so that is definitely really cool. Um, I do want to say something about the posability for this figure. Uh, since it's like pleather material and this shiny uh, fabric material, I think, actually, you know what, I think this whole entire suit is made of pleather. So that is definitely going to hinder articulation. And it's going to get crinkly. So if you look at the way the legs are posed, yeah, he is not going to be a super posable figure. Yeah, so expect a lot of crinkling as around the uh, knee joints, elbow joints. The shoulder definitely can going to have an issue going perpendicular. They're using a lot of trick photography here to try to get him into like these uh, uh, dynamic poses. Uh, I think this guy is most likely going to be... Um, like uh, standing in a museum pose. Most people are going to put it in a museum pose. I mean, this looks like a good pose. That looks pretty good. Uh, this looks pretty boring. <laughs> that doesn't look really good either. Um, it's uh, worth $255. Um, you know what? I think I, I think people should pass on this one. To be honest with you, I don't really think it's worth the money. The stand is cool, but the uh, you're gonna be getting a Spider-Man that you're just gonna put in a museum post. I mean, it looks nice. The outfit is great, but yeah, maybe just uh, I don't know. Maybe get a statue or something. <laughs> wait, wait for uh, Prime One to do a statue or X7 to do a statue of this guy. So maybe they actually do those kind of things. Uh, one I would recommend uh, instead of this figure is probably, and this one is coming out April 2021 to June 2021, so it's uh, still a long time to go. Um, I think the advanced suit is pretty good, but that's only assuming if you like the look of the advanced suit over this one. 
This one's like, uh, well, it's, it's an armor, so like all that uh, red part is like, I guess assuming it's like supposed to be like armor, <laughs> something like that. Uh, yeah. Is the event suit from the movie or is that from the video game? Oh, it's also a video game masterpiece. Yeah, this one looks, you can see it, it definitely has better articulation in the legs because of the outfit. Uh, they're using like the rubber rubber material suit. So look, you can actually raise the arms to do like a swinging pose on this guy versus the other guy who's, uh, you know, the spider armor that's made out of pleather. You cannot do it out of pleather. Like, that material is just going to, like, <laughs> just, yeah, it hinders articulation. This one is so much better. But, uh, yeah, it, it's the, 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 the different appearance. So, if you like the look of, like, a shiny Spider-Man that look more like the classic Spider-Man, then, yeah, definitely go for that. If you want something that you can pose and do more stuff with, I think the event suit is probably the way to go. I'm not the biggest Spider-Man fan, but if I was going to get, like, a Spider-Man figure, I would probably go with the event suit. Um, probably want to look into this Iron Spider figure, too. I don't know if I actually did a video on it or not, but... Anyway, that's pretty much it, my opinion about this figure. Let me know what you guys think, and thanks for watching.